Hey YouTube, I uh, wanted to do another quick tip uh, for the weekend here. Uh, this one is about uh, aerosolizing uh, something that's not in an aerosol can. Um, I'm going to be using Valistol in this uh, demo just because that's what I happen to need to do right now. Um, but you can really put anything into one of these. Um, if you're into cooking, uh, you may recognize these. Um, they're made by a company called Misto. I think there's other brands of them as well. Uh, what it is, is it's a little, uh, it's an oil sprayer. Uh, you actually pressurize it by pumping it up. And so you can load these with your own olive oil or whatever for, for the kitchen uh, to use in place of like a product like Pam or like, you know, one of the, uh, you know, the, the aerosol uh, sprays. Um, and they work pretty well, but um, I bought a couple of these uh, several years ago and honestly, they've never gotten much use in the kitchen, um, but they do get use in the shop and here is why. Um, I love uh, Ballastol. It's, it's a great product. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Um, but uh, you can get it in one of two ways. You can get it in uh, like a liquid form uh, or you can get it in an aerosol can. Uh, the problem is, is the aerosol can is uh, 6 ounces. The non-aerosol is 16 ounces. Um, and when you buy it online, uh, I think they're about the same price. Uh, also, I can't walk into a store and buy this stuff uh, in California. Um, it, you know, they'll ship it to you here, but for whatever reason, nobody around here seems to sell it. Um, so when I order it online, I like to order as much as I can get because they have kind of high sh uh, shipping costs. Um, so lately I've been buying the non-aerosol version and I use it in this. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys that tip today. Um, basically, the way these work, and if you can see it's under pressure right now, is you just fill them up about halfway. If you're wondering why my funnel has a uh, hot glue on it, then uh, see the previous tip video, which I'll link below. And there's a little window in the side here. So you'll know, you fill them up about halfway. And then you can pump them up. And you don't have to go crazy with the pumping. Um, and that's it. Uh, you now have an aerosol can. So for the same price as you know one aerosol can, uh, you can get yourself you know several aerosol cans worth of uh, a product usually. And this not just for ballastol, for all kinds of things. Um, you know you can buy lots of your favorite oils and you know chemicals and whatnot in non aerosol versions, uh, and then just put them in a sprayer like this. They'll actually sell these with these uh, spray bottle uh, tops. Um, but these are just the squirt kind um, that like will squirt across the room um, and they don't really work. Even if you were to get this, the, the Mr. One, I kind of suspect that these are really uh, not suited towards spraying something thick, uh, whereas these are designed specifically for uh, spraying something like olive oil. Um, so they work a lot better for this purpose, I feel. Um, and these are pretty cheap, I think. Um, I picked them up, like I said, a couple years ago when they were a little bit more new, and I think I got a two pack of them for under twenty bucks. Um, you can probably buy one for you know somewhere around the eight nine dollar range. Um, but as you can see, you now have a simple aerosol version. So that's it. Enjoy. Uh, have a good weekend, everybody, and I'll uh, see you soon. Bye.